I'm Jordan Wayne. Bon pomeriggio, she said as I walked into the petite Italian deli. It was the most beautiful of days, sun high, blue sky with a hint of depression. The lone soul stumbling in and out of consciousness like a hungry bobblehead, its heart stretched thin. It had been a long time since love had been on the forefront of his smile. That soul was mine. And looking up, I was greeted by her majesties, her eyes locked with mine. Sweet destiny, the most beautiful thing I had ever seen, she was perfect. She had soft olive skin, peppered with rich black freckles all down her body. Her thick, smooth hair was tied back in a bun, as if she had a point to prove, or maybe that was the point. A green and white checkered dress hung just below her ankles, wrapping her body as if she was only meant for one person. Her name was Beatrice. Beatrice Lee Taylor. They say her whole life was destined for one special moment. I, I believe mine had just passed. And I went back to that deli every day for as long as I could remember, greeted, of course, by Beatrice and her smile. How unlike she was from any other I'd come across before. Simplistic, she was not. She had layers stretched far and wide, and every week it was like meeting her for the first time again. How I longed for Beatrice. Night in and night day, and the warmth she brought to my table. And the more time I spent with Beatrice, the more I realized what lay beneath that checkered dress of hers. On the outside she was crisp, cold but burning. She bit back and less treated with a soft hand. Breaking through that rigid shell was her crunch, an explosion of energy searing through her nooks and crannies, knocking a shaky soul off his feet, if not well prepared, mild she was not. And after many, many, many days spent with Beatrice, I finally found what she was truly made of. She was smooth, saucy with spice. She had the power to warm your heart or slow it down. She was a full body spirit. Raw to the bone was how she seemed, and raw was her best. Soft and tender, Beatrice was perfect. But under recent economic conditions, the petite deli couldn't hold its own. It was not long until a bright red foreclosure sign was fixed in the window. It may as well have made her stone. And as I locked eyes with Beatrice one last time through that tinted deli window, I knew I would never see her again. Because Beatrice was a tasty sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>